In the last video I have shown you how you can calibrate individual C14 dates with OXCAL and in this video I would like to show you how you can do that for multiple dates at once without copy pasting individual dates. So in my case I have my database here and there I have a table with the C14 dates for my site here and the easiest way to get all these dates into OXCAL is with the intermediate step of a uh, uh, spreadsheet software like LibreOffice Calc, for example. To achieve that, we open the spreadsheet software, LibreOffice Calc, and with View, we add the data sources view to this um, visualization here. And there I'll find my database, and here I can select the table with C14 dates. Or if you have a query where the dates that you need to be calibrated are collected, you can also use a query for your specific selection here. Now, if we have this table here, I can select the whole table, click on copy and paste that into the spreadsheet software. And now, for example, I can also start transforming or selecting some dates. So here is a date that was rejected. I can remove that one from the list. And now I have all the C14 dates that I would like to add here. Now to get them into OXCAL you can start or you need to start a new project here. Before we just use the simple calibration that comes here in directly at the front end but now to have more uh, possibilities and also add a lot of data at once you need to start a new project. Once you clicked project new you are greeted by this empty screen and here you have multiple options um, to add more sophisticated um, models to your data. How this can be done we will see in the next um, video or in the next session where we talk about Bayesian calibration. For now we just want to add a bunch of C14 dates at once and uh, calibrate them directly. To help you could start here by inserting individual dates like we did that on the front end and if I would do that here uh, I just give it a random name some values and then I could click on these two arrows here and with that this C14 date would be entered and I can also select this date again and for example delete this date again but this is again typing so we probably would like to avoid that because we did that already for our database. There is a tool under tools that help you with inserting a lot of options at once. So under tools you will find the import tab here and here you can copy paste data directly from spreadsheets into this uh, window here and with them add all the dates at once to your actual plot. To do that we select the columns that are necessary for OXCAL. So we need the laboratory number as name, the BP and the standard deviation in that order. If your spreadsheet software or your database is organized a bit differently, you have to reorder the columns and then um, so it should be the name, the BP and the standard deviation here in that order. Now I can select this and click on copy go over to OXCAL, go to this window and paste on them in and now you can see here these values are tab separated and this is also selected as separator here. If we copy paste stuff from spreadsheet software usually it's tab separated in the internal clipboard. You could of course have already a CSV file in that case you sh should select a different uh, separate here comma or semicolon if it is a CSV file and then you can copy paste the content of a CSV file into this um, window as well. Now we have all the dates in our import window here and again there are these two arrows here if we click on them all the dates are entered in the OXCAL software and we can directly start calibrating that or restructuring that if we would start with a Bayesian model here but that's nothing we will do right now. Now we just start calibrating all these dates at once and in a project you have to click on file run. You can save the model first but if you click on run 
the first time you will be asked to save um, this project here and then you can give it a reasonable name and here you can also for example um, add new folders to structure your data this is especially helpful if you are within your own uh, account but it's also helpful if you work in the student account at the moment to separate um, this from the work of other students so you can add a new folder saying for example uh, Miskovice open that folder here and then save it as uh, Miskovice 1 for example Miskovice 1 if I now click on run the project is saved and we can access this uh, later on but at the same time the calibration is done and here now the table view makes sense because now we have a lot of data here and we can see all of them and all the um, the calibrated results in one table view we can still see the single plots in that case we can here um, browse the individual dates and see the different plots here and you can also change like we did before with format the the output here of the dates what we now also can do is to produce a multi-plot and uh, with that there are um, fewer details visible but you can see all the dates in on one screen and also export this image like we did before with file save as and with that you can export the um, this image here as PDF or PNG. We can also make a curve plot and with the curve plot we see the individual dates plotted on top of the calibration curve and that is helpful to have an idea where the different dates are located on the calibration curve if there is, is a steep part like here or a plateau like here and this can give you an idea how yeah, reliable uh, this data is and why for example certain dates have a wider um, interval than other dates that are on a steep part here if you would have a um, age depth model um, what you probably would have if this would be something to um, calibrate or to, to calculate the ages for a pollen analysis you could have a this depth plot here but at the moment we don't have any depth information here and also for our any analysis here it doesn't make any sense so this thing will be empty if you would have a model and we will say that later you can have a view on the model specifications and probably also on the outliers at the moment the only relevant other relevant option here is raw data and with these you can export the raw probabilities of the individual um, ages for each of the calibrated dates you can save them and use them for example in other visualization software to see these mountains that you see in the single plot for example and yeah to can to access this raw data and work with them in other software yeah i think that's all for calculating the calibration of multiple dates at once the major difference is here that we have uh, now the project and that our um, model specification is saved in this project we can always go back to the initial model by using this arrow here uh, that was there before and we can go to the calibrated results using the arrow the blue arrow in the other direction please be sure if you change something here not just to click on this arrow but again say file run otherwise your model will probably not reflect the changes that you did before and just show you the calibrated results that you calibrated before so whenever you change something in the model you should explicitly click file run and then uh, this file is uh, calculated again if you have a project you can always and you, this project is stored you can always open that project again not only from here but also on the initial page of Oxcal if I now go here to file open I can open my Miskovice file again and uh, we have here 
some images for the output uh, or some some icons for the output uh, the pure text output and the log file for the run but most of the time you want to open the model itself so this is this uh, icon here if you double click on that your original project is opened again so with this you have all the tools that are necessary to come up with some um, multiple uh, cal calibration at once and in the next session uh, we will talk about how you can do with this more uh, elaborated analysis like Bayesian models and probably also we do some outlier analysis. Meanwhile in the next practical session we will try out this calibration together and I'm looking forward to that. <laughs>